Hey YouTube, it's Dalton here. Welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. So we're gonna quickly have a look through all those levels. As you can see, Sora's level 46. He now knows Flame Wheel, Flame Throw, Smoke Screen, and Loud Plume. He's got Charcoal as his held higher. Goofy, he's got Quick Claw, he's level 45. He knows Confusion, Yawn, Zen Headbutt, and Surf. Kiwi, level 4. He's got no item yet. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna give him. He knows Rollout, Crush Claw, Sand, sand Attack, and Slash. Doland. L level 40, you know, Shell Bell, I don't know if I mentioned carries level 40 as well. Shell Bell, you know, Sucker Punch, Strength, Whirlpool, and Quick Attack. And Riku, only level 30, he knows Exp Extreme Speed, Foot Thunder Wave, Waterfall, and Dragon Rage. So there's our stats, he's not he's a little in the XP share because he's getting experience. You may be thinking, why is this such a low level? It's because I can't build training. I'm just gonna get a list of all the Pokemon really quickly of what we're gonna so let's go. So, guys, we're back, let's go in and talk to this guy. Once you enter the door, You'll be facing whatever the highest trainers are. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. So this is gonna be uh, these, these episodes are gonna be pretty short, but we'll just look at these graphics in the DS, man. This is Will. This is our first rival of the Elite Four. He's a Psychic type trainer and he's really powerful. Uh, the thing is, he's got one Pokemon which is really goddamn annoying, which you need really, really, really need to be aware of, because if not, it can seriously mess you up. So fair warning there. So uh, yeah, he's gonna send in a Zatu. The Zatu is level 40. And um, yeah, there's actually, I've got no idea which moveset is. One minute, I'm just gonna say, I wanna know what its moveset is. So, guys, I'm back. It knows U turn, me first, Confuse Ray, and Psychic, this Zatu. So, uh, let's lead off with a Lava Plume and hope for the best. So, yeah, I've actually got an entire list of all the moves now, which is good, so I can just discuss it with you guys. I knew it wasn't gonna work, so I've actually tried to do this before, and this battle didn't work well for me. I, I, I end up losing. <laughs> Not gonna lie, uh, there's a certain Pokemon which he always uses after this one, which is uh, I'm gonna get into it in a little bit, but uh, it's not good. He also has the ability to synchronize, so if you burn him, he'll burn you back. Yeah, it's, it's not good to have. It's not good to have. So let's go for a quick flame wheel. Now we're gonna go for another lab plume. We should be faster. We, hopefully we don't get hit by. Oh, a nice one. So I'm happy with yourself. I'm happy that you didn't actually hit yourself because if you did, Jesus, that would have been annoying as balls. So there we go. There goes the Zatu. 700 and 700. Riku gained to level 31. Let's hope we don't lose against this Pokemon. So, it's gonna send a Slowbro next. I'm just gonna switch out into our Slowbro and then we're gonna go for a quick yawn. This Slowbro is level 41. You know, it's Curse, Amnesia, War Pulse, and Psychic. What this Pokemon likes to do is it lets us set up high defense and high um, and high special defense just so it can stall. So, I'm actually gonna put it to sleep and I'm gonna go and switch into uh, Kyrie. Get some sand attacks off. I'm sorry about Bubba the Magma. Get some sand attacks off and hope, hope for the best there. He's not gonna predict us switching out into um, a water type, and if I really have to, I can stall with Goofy as long as I can. But the thing is, with with Curse, that's increased attack. He's got no physical attack move, attack moves, which I'm really happy with. But yeah, Kyrie, yeah, I, I knew I wasn't gonna think of doing something like something stupid. I hope Kyrie can win this. Little this even, I think he can. Yeah, it was worth taking a hit like that, just because like now we can actually go for some sand attacks. It, it's a cheap way of going doing this, but like this train, the, this battle is gonna be pretty annoying. If we don't handle this slow bro. There's always one trainer in Pokemon you always struggle with, and it's normally uh, it's normally one of the easiest battles in the game, and this is one of them. And it's just so goddamn annoying how annoying Will is. Willy. Okay, I've got three sand attacks. So we need to get as many as we can because the more we get it up, the better it's gonna be in the long term. So there we go. Let's go for four. Five. After this, and then uh yeah. Psychic like 100% hit, hit ratio, I'm pretty sure. So, so long, carry. You, 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 like, you, you, you did well. You, you did well. Hmm. We're gonna go back into Goofy and put him back to sleep. And you're thinking, why am I doing this? It's just because it's gonna be goddamn annoying if not. Quite a lot of it. It would have been faster anyway, because we're fighting a slow bro ourselves. So, yeah. It's not like slow bros are that fast in general. It, it feels like he is really, really raising his um, defense as high as he can. I haven't got a Pokemon to counteract it because I've got no dark moves, I don't think. How much damage does Surf do? I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm curious. I'm actually curious. Also, uh, it's better to stay in because we, we can take an easy hit like that. Surf's actually quite a bit of damage. I think I'm actually just going to stay in and actually keep mm, like spamming Surf. Curse increases our defense, but... Uh, increases his defense, even. But it's actually a... It's actually a um, I'm using a special type move anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go for a Surf and see how much damage this does. Come on, not bad. 
halfway there. I really hope he doesn't heal his slowpoke up because I've got a feeling this, this slowpoke is going to be goddamn annoying. Yeah, like really, really annoying. And I don't like it. I really hate it. Okay. Psychic, I'm fine with it. You, you, you can use Psychic as much as you want. It's a special suit type move and you're using it on a slow bow yourself. That does no damage to me. GG. Let's go for a Surf. That should be the end of that slow bow. Thank Christ. I think it's going to go into his Exeggutor next. It makes sense, the type advantage. Goofy gain level 46. Nice one, Goofy. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of Carrie as well, taking the hit like... Oh, a Zatu. He's Ace. Okay, I'm going to switch back into Sora here. You may be thinking why. So, so this is actually level 42 to start with. It's got Citrus Berry held. In its Confused Rate, Ominous Wind, Aerial Ace, and Psychic. It's got a Ghost type move. And Ghost is probably going to own a Slow Bro, since he's going to be slow anyway. So he's going to go for a Lava Plume straight off. Not too bad damage. It could have been better. He's going to use a Citrus Berry to heal his HP back up. Uh, as you can see, this is a lot more tanky than the original Zatu, but it's still not tanky enough. So yeah. There we go. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad damage. Let's go for another Lava Plume. We have got uh, high potions if we really need to use them. So, uh, yeah. I feel like we're going to stay in for Sora now because of the next two Pokemon are all like Sora's advantage, I guess. So, so he's going to go in with the Jinx or 41. It has no L items. It knows Lovely Kiss, Double Slap, Ice Punch, and Psychic. I don't know if I mentioned this, but they actually changed the sprite of Jinx from Gen 1 and 2 to Gen 3 and 4. As you can see, Lava Plume owns Jinx. And his last Pokemon is pretty much going to be just as easy as this one. So I gained 600 experience, Riku gained 600 experience. Executor, level 41, he knows the, the attacks Reflect, Hypnosis, Egg Bomb and Psychic. We're going to be faster than this. My, my Psychics won't even give up. We're down to our last Pokemon. That makes us formidable. formidable. I guess. Lava Bloom's gonna end him. And then that's gonna be the first the first trainer in the Elite Four. Over. If you do lose in the Elite Four, by the way, you do get booted straight back to the first guy. So it's like it's kinda helpful that you don't lose. That's why I got those supplies to keep it going on going, like. In Elite Four will I can't believe it. I can. And we won, we got four five thousand Pokedos. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling to try to stand all above all trainers. Now move on, experience the true ferocious the the, the ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay. But guys, these episodes are going to be really short. I just want to go and heal up my Pokemon really quickly. Um, where is... Uh, where is a revive? We've got two revive kind of candies. We should have actually used those, but eh, it's fine. We'll probably use it on Riku to get him um, which is high level. We should also use the items we've got in our inventory, like proteins and stuff, because he can be a bit protein. So, I think that's the end of the episode. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Hard Gold, we're going to go and fight the second Elite Four member, Koga, which actually used to be a gym leader. I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Hard Gold. I'll see you guys then. Peace.